Hey everybody, welcome back and thank you all so much for tuning back into my channel once again. Been a while since we last have our OPOP update and today there will be some exciting news and quality of lives that we will be getting soon. But before we proceed and talk more default, again as usual, big big thank you to Leo Bob and Zedakai for the awesome translation that the both of them have posted in Discord which I will be reading off from. And again, both the in-game footage and the OPOP video will be altered around for today's video. So with that, let's dive in and talk about what we're getting for April's content. First up, yeah, if you see in my intro video which you guys voted, Yep, Jet will be our next LDMBT unit and his LDMBT will drop on his upcoming Divine Shiva's event which will be dropping in a few hours time. So let's talk about what he's gonna get for his LD first. His LD is a weapon call since Spur and it gives him the ability name called Triumphant Grubs and it does an AoE Fire Melee Prey plus AoE HP attack grants himself a buff called Infinite Possibilities. Wow, I really like the name of this buff. And the buff does these followings. Enchant Fire. When using HP attack, reduce the Brave Consume. Wow, I gotta say, he really, really needed this skill since Jet's follow-up attack is heavily dependent on the amount of Brave he has. And lastly, it also impairs fire to all enemies. Okay, let's talk about his BT next. Look at his BT weapon. Look at it. Now that's what I call perfection. Perfection. <clears throat> anyway, his BT is a weapon called Sin's Fang, which gives him the BT ability called Blitz King, which is basically an ability where you see Jack instead of kicking a blitz ball, he kicks a meteor instead, as shown over here on the original Decidia game from the PSP. So his BT does an AoE Fire Melee Brave plus AoE HP attack, and BT effect gives the usual party stats up, but some of his effect increases upon breaking or attacking a broken target. Interesting. Alright, alright, calm down, calm down. That's right, that's Jet's alternate costume, which is his Braska Final Aeon costume. I gotta say, his costume looks incredibly sick. Look at his eyes, look at it. <sighs> if only their costumes are cheaper. But hey, I'm happy to all the Jet fans out there. This has to be one of the best looking costumes we have so far in the game as well. Next up, Yes, Ardyn's BT can be realizable as well. Thank goodness for that. So I guess my plan will be to try and at least get Jet's LD and BT plus Ardyn. Oh, one more thing. Ardyn is also getting a rework. Yeah! Alright, let's talk about the next LD we're getting. That's right, you're looking at it. Rejoice, Lana fans! So, Lana will be getting a LD on the next Transcendence, and her LD does recover HP to the party, deals HP damage based on the amount of HP the entire party has, and it will not consume Lana's Brave, and it recovers Brave to the party based on HP damage dealt, and it grants itself a buff called Giant's Drink which turns her HP attack to Dragon Breath, which has a limited amount of uses. Dragon Breath is an attack that does HP damage to all enemies, again, based on the amount of HP the entire party has, and it will not consume Lena's Brave. And it also recovers Brave to the party based on HP damage dealt. Moreover, it fills 20% of her EX recast gauge, and it reverts back to her normal HP attack. So the interesting part of this Dragon Breath is that it has a limited amount of uses. Kind of like a skill usage which is why it also feels 20% of her EX recast since it's tied to her HP attack. Very interesting kit Lena has here. And lastly, her Giant String buff also does the following. Party stats up which includes max HP up, increases some effect on party members if they are at least 50% HP. Lastly, she will also be getting a set of stickers of her own as well. Very nice! Next up, a weapon skin for bow users. Wow, I think this is our second bow weapon skin that we have ever since uh, uh, Sarah's uh, LD. Next up, speaking of the transcendence earlier, 
Let's talk about some campaigns we'll be getting. Fiat Transcendence Campaign, aka the Dimensions and Transcendence Campaign. So this is a campaign where we will be awarded with gems depending on the amount of Transcendence stages we've cleared so far. And I believe we've already gotten this campaign few months back. So you won't be getting another one of these rewards if you've already gotten the rewards back then. But you will be rewarded with 10,000 gems if you clear Transcendence 6, which is the next upcoming Transcendence. That's 10,000 gems, baby! And alongside, there will be three free multi-pools as well. And these banners are the Fiat Transcendence Support Campaign banner, which I believe is the Lana's LD banner. The first Fiat Transcendence banner, which consists of the brand, again. How many times does his LD needs a rerun? And lastly, the second Fiat Transcendence banner, which if I remember correctly, has Ferris LD, which again, didn't her LD recently get reran? Well, unless I'm reading it wrong about these banners, well, guess we have to wait and see. Next up, Matter Gigantor makes a return, and this time we will be able to obtain up to 84 summon tickets in total by the time this campaign ends. Woohoo! <laughs> Next up, we have Kane's Intertwined Whales. Yup, similar to Garner's Intertwined Whales, this time it's Kane's turn, which also means he will be getting a LD, but no rework. Ugh, what is this, the tradition moving forward now? All featured characters appearing in the Intertwined Whales won't get a rework? Well anyway, how do I know about Kane not getting a rework? Don't worry, we will touch on more on that later. And Kadash Lost Chapter will be part of April's event as well. So who will be the next unit getting the LD during Kadash's Lost Chapter? My guess is that Maria will be getting one since the bow weapon skin will be up for sale in April. But that's just my guess though, guess we'll know soon. Alright, next up, characters getting rework. Yes, this has got to be one of the most exciting part of the news. So let's take a look at the list. Jet and Arden will be getting a rework that we know already. Shadow will be getting a rework, which means his LD will also be arriving soon. I think he for sure is going to be getting a lot of ignore defense mechanic infused in all of his abilities. Lana will also be getting a rework, very nice. Two BT units will be getting a rework as well. And lastly, Selfie and Yeda will be getting a rework. Finally, another Final Fantasy XIV unit getting a LD. And finally, let's touch on some quality of life updates we'll be getting. First up, it seems like we are able to sell our weapons immediately upon pulling, as you can see as shown over here in the slides. And also, an auto sell quality of life is currently in the works, which automatically let us sell selected rarity equipment. And we can sell up to 50 equipment. Okay, I gotta say, why 50? Come on, Squacks, we're in the year 2021 now. Can we sell more than 50? Okay, I know, I know, at least the devs are implementing such quality of lives for us, so I guess I can't really complain too much. Next quality of life, party and enemies will have a detailed information when you do a long press. Alright, I uh, I'm not really sure if that really helps me since I don't read Japanese anyway, but hey cool, I'm happy for those that's able to read them. So both of the mentioned quality of lives will be going live right around the end of April and end of June. Still pretty far off before we get it. But we do have three quality of life that is going live right now. First, now we are able to see the buff and debuff duration if we were to do a long press. Second, we are finally able to turn off the Star Wars text in better. So from left, it reads display all, show passives only, and do not show. Third, though I'm not sure if this is really a quality of life and that is the auto plus function. So for BT plus units, whenever you press the auto button with the auto plus function turned on, it uses the BT ability instead of using the LD. And take note that this is only for the BT plus units with the BT ability. Non BT plus units will still carry on and use the LD if you tap the auto function. 
Well, personally, I don't really know if this is a good idea since the idea of using a auto blast is so that we can turn off our brains and let the units do the farming with the least possible amount of time spent. And we all know how draggy a BT animation can last, so cool, I guess. So here's a showcase video of me testing it out. As you can see, Emperor, a non-BT plus unit, proceeds to use his LD and not the BT. And as for Garland, yep, BT ability was selected instead. So that is it. What do you think about April's content? Personally, I'm very hyped for Arden's BT+. Honestly, I'm not too sure what my pool plans will be since all of the units mentioned earlier getting an LD are really good units. Let me know what the plans are and until the next video, good luck with all of your pools. Take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.